Hi friends, I'm going to read a book called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day by Judith Wiost and illustrated by Ray Cruz. I went to bed with gum in my mouth. My goodness, he forgot to take the gum out of his mouth. And what else did he forget? He forgot to brush his teeth. If he had brushed his teeth, he would not have gum in his mouth. Guess what happened? Now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I trip on the skateboard. And by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. Uh-oh, looks like he forgot to turn off the water, too. And I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh. And there at the breakfast table. You see the picture? At breakfast. Anthony, Anthony is one of his brothers, found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent coat ring in his breakfast cereal box, but in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. You think if he moved to Australia, things would go better for him? Let me see the picture. I like the drawing of these pictures. The pen drawing. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. And I said I was being scrambled. I've been scrunched, and I said I was being smooshed, and I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I am going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Hmm. He's gone to school. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's pictures of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. Can you see? That's his friend's sailboat. And look at his invisible castle. Hmm. It's singing. She said, I sang too loud. At counting time, she said, I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said, I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on the tech, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone and the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. Is that very nice that he said that? Well, sometimes when people get angry, they said something that they shouldn't have said, and then they regret it. What can you do when you get upset? Okay, take some deep breath. At lunchtime, there were two cupcakes in Philip's Parker's lunch bag. And Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds. And Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles. 
On top of that, guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? Well, I bet there's a reason that his mom didn't put in the dessert. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Look at his face. He does not look happy at all. And I think this is why he didn't get any dessert. That's what it was. Because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'll move to Australia. Hmm. He's trying to run away his problem instead of solving it, huh? On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot and while we were waiting for my mom to get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy and when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. Is that very nice to say? And while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, oh, he punched. My mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I'm having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody, no one even answered. Guess they didn't listen to what he had to say. Look at him. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose the blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white shoes, but they can't make me wear them. After that, well, we went to pick up my dad at his office. He said, I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. Look at the play paper. Oh, shooting out of copy machine. He also said to watch out for the books. But I was careful as could be, except for my elbows. He also said, don't fool around with his telephone. But I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick me up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good very bad days. So far, nothing good had happened to him, huh? It's dinner time. There was lima bean for dinner. I hate lima bean. He used a very, very strong word. What can you say instead? Maybe say, I don't like lima beans. There was kissing on TV and I hate kissing. <gasps> well, kissing is to show your affection of another person. Bath time. My bath water was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain and I had to water my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. bedtime. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom said, 
sometimes days are like that even in Australia the end